Hey, Coffee and Confessions family, we are so glad you are here with us on this amazing Monday morning. Monday. Yeah, I'm motivated. How about you? This is a Motivation Monday. It is a Motivation Monday, and I thank God it's Monday. You don't have to wait till Friday to thank God. <laughs> you can thank God for any day of the week. When you're living in God's purpose, uh, it is a good thing. It and you can enjoy thing. every day and every moment of your life based on the fact that God's with us and for us. And so uh, we've got a, I got a Motivation Monday quote for you. Here we go. You want to read it? By perseverance, a snail reached the ark. <laughs> I like there that There you go. Yeah, so it's a matter of not stopping. He was <laughs> very slow and deliberate, but he had to get on the ark, right? So do you think- I don't think snails could live underwater for a long time. No, but do you think that he got a head start? Maybe. Yeah, maybe the angel said, go ahead now. I, Two yeah, years please. early. <laughs> get, get, get over there. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe like a bird came and like helped drop it over there. <laughs> but anyways, the idea is perseverance. We're going to smack the enemy in the face this week with the Word of God. I want you to get in here, get motivated all week long. It's going to be a great time together. Glad you're here, family. We'll be right back. coffee and confessions. We drink coffee in here and we are going to give you a good word from God's word. And at the end of the show, we're going to lead you in confessions from God's word over your life. That's what our viewers love, right? Amen. Amen. So we've got a great word for you today. It comes from Joshua chapter one and verse nine. Have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you yeah, go. I mean, what more of an encouragement is that, that we can be strong, we can be courageous. Um, we don't have to walk in fear of what we see around us because God is always with us. You know, the shadow of a dog never bit anybody. And what the enemy is trying to do is all smoke, mirrors, and shadows. And what he's trying to do is create a new reality on the inside of us, kind of in our, our, our soul realm, that we enter into fear instead of faith. Mm. And a lot of the, the things that try to cause dismay mm -hmm. or cause discouragement in us is really just the enemy trying to get you to believe a lie. And so I want, to be, I want you to be encouraged on this Monday that your God's for you. No matter what you've been through recently, sometimes, you know, life can come at you. Trials and tribulations can come at you. We're from Arizona. Our church is here in Arizona, in Gilbert, Arizona, in the Southeast Valley, Southeast of Phoenix, if you don't mm -hmm. know. Um, and we have these things here called monsoon storms. Right. Like how many monsoon storms do you think you've been through in your whole life? Oh, <laughs> too many to count. So yeah. I, I remember I remember one time we were swimming at, at a community pool with um, uh, just a bunch of people from the church. It was just yeah. a, a sunny summer um, day. Regina might actually been there too, um, and Pastor Josh over here. But um, we were just swimming and having a great time, and all of a sudden, um, they had to close the pool because it started to rain. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the pool is literally maybe two minutes from our house, and yeah. we couldn't even make it home. We had to pull over because it started hailing. Yeah, yeah. It was. It went from sunny that. to hailing to in like 10 minutes. Well, that's a lot of times what life does, right? It comes yeah. at you crazy, <laughs> like all of a sudden, like a big haboob. That's what they're called. There's haboobs. Haboob. God bless you. <laughs> <There's two. laughs> Thank you. Uh, but uh, uh, sudden, it's it looks very menacing. Most monsoon storms, though, have more bark than bite. Yes. Is this not accurate? Like, you might have a few things knocked over, a pillow blew around your backyard from your, 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 your bench there, your chair. But in the end, a tree every once in a while might get uprooted. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, you get some rain, get some wind, and it moves on. And, you know, Jesus has a lot to say about those kind of moments in life. He said, um, to build your life on a foundation. Like your life, my life, our lives in, in, as believers are built upon something that's strong, mm -hmm. that's stable, that's firm. And so when the storm comes in, he says, just relax and let the foundation carry you forward. Mm. Just, 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 just be. Uh, and I feel like that's the, there are moments we've got to stand up. We've got to, we've got to speak the word and go to, go to war. But sometimes the best fight is to enter into rest. 
because you're trusting in the stability and the strength of the foundation that your life's already laid upon.、Mm. You'll know the moments where you know, for instance, when you were in in the hospital with COVID last year, we understood that that was a time we had to come together, use the word as a weapon,、mm -hmm. and but even in that, we were fighting from a position of rest, and so.、Uh, You, you've got a strong foundation in your life.、Um, you might feel shaken recently. You might feel, you know, here in Arizona, we have the、uh, the greatest in, rate of inflation in the entire nation. Thank you, thank you. Yes, <laughs> yes, we've accomplished it.、Uh, we have thirteen、uh, percent, and we're we're number one, and it's actually by by quite a bit. And so there's a lot of times where、um, you can look at the numbers, if you will, the 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 Statistics, statistics, the stats. stats. The、uh, you look at those and they say something crazy. But God is greater than what we see in the numbers, what we、mm -hmm. see in the stats, what we see before us. We got to sit there and rest and know that. Right, right. You know, I I'm just thinking of of、um, Joseph. I love the story of Joseph. Yeah, yeah. It's so、mm -hmm. encouraging because. Um, you know, we see the dream that God had planted in Joseph's heart,、um, and, and he saw it. You know, yeah, and, he did. And that's a lot of what we're going to be talking about. But <laughs> yeah, so he saw this dream, and he was excited, and he was passionate about it.、Um, and then he just had just so many setbacks. Craziness happened. Craziness, and but he never let that get deep inside of him.、Mm. Um, you know, they they threw him in the pit, they left him for dead, they sold him into slavery. You know, but all the while, Joseph. Kept his eyes on the vision and the dream that God had. He might not have understood what was going on around him、um, at the moment, but he was faithful. He was faithful in where God had him yeah,、um, at the moment. He didn't always understand, but he was faithful and、That's、he trusted God. And you know, and we see in Joseph's life, you know,、um, sometimes we say、um, one step forward, two steps back. <laughs> you know, I kind of see if when you watch Joseph's life, you know, there's so many ups and downs. You know,、um, a, a good thing would happen, a blessing. You know, he'd get a promotion, and then all of a sudden, something it would get ripped away, and he would get you know, thrown into jail, or somebody tell a lie or about him or whatever. But he was always faithful、um, no. to the end when God was able、no. to put him in the position、um, that He had planned for him, so he could actually end up to be a blessing. To、um, so many more people, it, it was bigger than he had imagined. If he would have sat there and let the setback take root inside of him, and, and the hurts that、um, you know the people closest to him, if he would have let that set inside of him, he would have never been able to accomplish the dream that God had put、yes. in his heart when he was young. And you know, Pastor Christie makes an excellent point that faithfulness is a key. If you think about that. Snail, the perseverance is just being faithful and taking one step after another towards the direction that God said you should go. And sometimes the best you can do is I'm gonna be faithful. Like, and you know what? That's all you need to be. Yeah. You need to be faithful. You need to be、uh, just. I'm gonna go in the direction God you said. I mean, it almost doesn't make sense. I understand sometimes the battle with the flesh, but. To not go and do what God says to go and do is irrational. <laughs> it's just so we're not to control every circumstance. We can't.、Right. We can respond to them, but what we can control is our ability to be faithful, to persevere through the darkest storms and the and the turmoil and the, the craziness of life when it when it comes and it comes at you.、Um, this is who we are as believers. And so, look. I want to. I want you to be encouraged today. Pastor and Christy and I are with you. We are for you. We want you to find motivation today in this day to、uh, not be discouraged, but to take courage. Sometimes I like how that that verse said that in Joshua one nine. And maybe we can put that back on the screen. But Joshua one nine, where it, where it says, "Be strong and of good courage." I think it's in the King James versions. Where and, and a lot of places in the King James it says, "Take courage," but.、Mm. Isn't that funny? Like you got to take it. Like, and maybe you have, you do have courage in you. So you got to take it, though. You got to, yeah, grab it. I'm gonna be courageous. I'm gonna choose to step into it.、Mm -hmm. You know, you can own clothes. It's in your closet. Right. But you sometimes you have to actually put them on, or you're, <laughs> you're just gonna be naked. <laughs> It's like the the, the 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 armor of God is something you have to put on. In that same way, step into the things that God's called you to step into today,、That's、and、good. just be faithful where you are.、Mm -hmm. Trust God in the midst of a storm, or in any of the storms of life. 
just know that he's got you in the palm of his hand. Be courageous. Don't be dismayed. God is with you today on a Monday. Amen. Amen. Let's say our confessions together. My God is greater than this current trial. I will bounce back stronger than ever because of Christ in me. Amen. Let's say it together. My, My God, God is greater, greater than, than this current trial. trial. I, I will bounce, bounce back stronger than, than ever because, because of Christ, Christ in me. me. Praise God, man. What the enemy made to stop me, God will transform into forward motion. I speak to every hindrance and obstacle surrounding me and command it to move in Jesus' name. No weapon will prosper against me. Now let's say this with conviction. Make it a proclamation on a Monday. Here we go. What, what the, the enemy, enemy made, made to stop me, God, God will transform, transform into forward motion. motion. I speak to every hindrance, obstacle surrounding me and command it to move in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Come on. Let's go. Hey, get in any time during this week. Now, we're going to have five, be here five days this week. We ask you to get in here five days with us. We believe your week will be better for it. Amen. So if you're watching the show and this has been a blessing, we just ask that you share it. But you, if you are watching and you haven't subscribed to be a part of the Coffee and Confession family, we encourage you to subscribe to that. Yeah, absolutely. Like, subscribe, and comment below. We love you, family. Uh, may, new, new subscriber, shout out below where you're from and who you are. We'd love to shout you out on Tuesday. God bless you. We love you.